Welcome to Inside White Box. Everyone, Mark here from White Box. You join us on a very busy day at the White Box workshops. We've got lots of work going on today, and we've just finished this a Volkswagen T6. It's got a Sortimo GL4 racking in it, and we've done this for a locksmith. He's had his last van, his last Sortimo kit for the past 10 years, decided to get a new van and also have some new racking installed. In fact, I must say, the other Sortimo racking in his van still looks epic after all that time. It's the older style. But let's just run through this where we are. We've got the Sortimo fold-out vise. That pulls out. We've just left the rubbers on there for now for transport purposes, but he can take those off really nice heavy duty vice you can get one with a leg on that as well you've got these perf panels on here now specifically here this is where his battery charge is going to go he's an auto locksmith so he needs to keep power into the cars and we've put uh, a double power outlet here so if you have a quick look at that we've got a twin usb and a cigar lighter type socket there up over here we've got a spotlight which is going over onto the vice so when he's working at night, he'll be able to light that up. While we're at the back, if we look above, we've got the lightweight Sortimo lining kit, and this runs throughout the van. We'll see a bit more of that in a minute. Um, nice rubberized uh, Sortimo floor, 12 mil thick, nice rubber surface, very hard wearing. Um, just up here, we've left these off, but there's a range of accessories. So you see these panels on the end look quite empty. They will be filled up with all of the accessories. Hello Reggie, we're filming. <laughs> I was there, okay, well thank you. <laughs> Thanks Reggie. Next generation of white boxes there. Um, so we've got the L box here. Now in here, loads of little compartments. They can put all their chips, key fobs, all of the stuff like that. Nice thing about these multi-slides, I mean these boxes, they come out, they stack together, you can take them onto site. Nice thing about having them on a multi-slide is you can just grab out little bits as you want them. So here's the drawers as well. Uh, we've got a load of stacks of drawers on this side. I mean, look at them, there's nine drawers on here. Underneath here, uh, we've got an extra storage space, bits and bobs that don't fit in anywhere else. You know, it makes good use of where the wheel arches are. Same here as well, we've got the back end of the wheel arch and under there as well. So, oh look, whoever cleaned it didn't take the screw out. <laughs> Uh, more drawers here, then on this side we've got some more tea boxes on multi-slides again, small compartments, great thing, got a clear lid so you can see inside. On top of that, a small drop down flap, um, and the same on this side. Now moving in the van a little bit more, look at on the top here, um, we've got uh, full electrics around here, we've fitted the customer's inverter, so here's inverter switches here. Um, we've got Eberspatcher 2 kilowatt heating system. That's the control panel for it there. And down here, we've got the ducting with the hot air coming up through the floor. He's got some machines in here that don't really want to get cold in the winter. So you can set the temperature on that to make sure it never gets down below a certain temperature. We've got the main light switch here on this panel. Six LED 500 mil baton lights on there. Um, so yeah, that's the top. There's two big machines going in here all these drawers as well i mean i cannot believe we managed to fit so much stuff in here another stack of drawers here there is just so much space nice aluminium trim i mean just going back to the lights as well with machines here if you're sat here in the winter you've got light coming in forwards and backwards you're not really ever going to be in shadow uh didn't even talk about the sr boxes these are great they pull out all other bits bobs locks can go in there and then let's just pop out the side door here. So we've got another twin power outlet here as well, which we've put in. I think I've covered it all. Obviously the space here where they can put some extra stuff. I mean, that is it, you know, it's taken us a good few days to fit this one out. I'm really happy with the results. And what a, a cool looking van as well, you know, when that's gonna be opened, looks even cooler inside. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you're interested, do get in touch.